Arnie? Probably not. Why not? I don't know, Becca. I just... Just not sure. Arnie, you never get out anymore. And plus, with everything happening with your parents, it will do you good to have one night of fun. I guess. If you say so. And it's a Halloween party. You love Halloween. Yeah. It's also a party that doesn't really seem like somewhere where Arnie thrives. Well, there's only one way to find out. You have to get out, live, experience it. Uh, speaking of living, experiencing, tell me a little more about this ritual stuff. Okay. So basically, all it is is opening up a spiritual connection between our world and their world. I do it all the time. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. I did it last week. It's really not that big a video. Why are you scared? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Well, either way, I'm still not convinced this is all real. You know, Tom, you should really be more careful what you say. I mean, you can't blame me. The closest thing I've seen to a demon is the look on my mom's face the last time I wrecked the car. I honestly don't know how you still have a license. <laughs> oh, here it is. Turn right up here. This is it? Yeah, this doesn't look sketchy at all. Come on, guys. It's not that bad. What do you see in him, Becca? I mean, once you peel back all the jock layers, he's got a heart of gold. You just have to get to know him. Sure. to admit it, but he's right. Oh, come on, you guys. Look at all this stuff. It's perfect. Take anything seriously. Lighten up, Ernie. Maybe if you put down your calculator and lived a little bit, you might have more than one person who actually enjoys spending time with you. Yeah, well, maybe if you took your head out of your jock strap for five minutes, you might realize that you're a complete. Hey, 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 hey. Play nice, you guys. He started it. Real mature. You want to take this round back, Scrawny? Hey, no one's taking anything around anything. Let's check this place out. Um, I forgot the candles in the car. You go get them? Yeah. Gosh, that just makes me want to... Where are these dang candles? Gotta be kidding myself. What's next? Well, now I have to find a place to do the ritual. So, about what you told me about your parents? What about them? Are they really that bad? Well, can't say they're getting any better. 
Dad's probably not getting out soon. I don't think Mom's going to make it. And you know, tonight will be good for you. Get your mind off of things. A ritual to get my mind off things? Speaking of, will you go out in the car and help Tom? You know he is. He might get lost or something. I'm sure. Thank you. No problem. And be nice. No promises. Hey, what are you doing? We need the candles. Can't do this ritual. What are you doing? Let go of me! Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this one time. Stay away from Rebecca. She would never be with a joke like you. It's funny, you actually thought you had a chance. So tell me, how does it feel to be powerless? Yeah, everything's fine. Right. You know, these candles smell like butthole. Oh, just chit chat. Got stuff. You wouldn't understand. All right, whatever. Let's get this started. Listen, Becca, I don't really think this is a good idea. I mean, what if something doesn't go as planned? Uh, come on, Arnie. Nothing bad is going to happen. I promise. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, but seriously, as long as we take this serious and you guys don't do anything stupid, we'll be okay. That's a pretty big if. A pretty big and, considering he's here. Oh, guys, cut it out. Help me light these candles. You guys ready to get this started? Sure. Okay. So for this to actually work, we need to make a spiritual connection between our world and the spiritual world. So everyone put your personal items in the middle. Okay. 
take a deep breath. And we need to focus on opening up a connection. But whatever you do, do not break this connection. It can mess things up big time. What's the worst that could happen? Well, if you break the connection before it's properly closed, then you run the risk of getting possessed by anything that enters into our realm. But it only possesses the one with the darkest of hearts. And that doesn't pertain to any of us, so I think we're gonna be okay. The darkest of hearts? What's that supposed to mean? Well, demons feed off of things like hate and malice and things like that. So if they find that in you, then they will possess you and there's no guarantee that you'll come back the same. But that being said, while we do this, let's focus on things like light and positivity. We shouldn't be scared because they feed off of that too. Okay, so let's grab hands. All right, close your eyes. Focus. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Spirits above and spirits below, we recognize you and we welcome you. We welcome you to come into our space and communicate with us and talk with us and warn us. Rebecca, I really don't think this is a good idea. Don't concentrate. We welcome you to come into our space. Feel free to move about or move things around. Arnie? Arnie. Mm. Hey, Arnie? Arnie? Hey, look at me. Arnie. Hey, Arnie? Arnie? Hey, Arnie, talk to me. Hey. Rebecca, are you we okay? need to stop. Arnie! Rebecca, we need to stop this.
Rebecca. Arnie, this isn't you. I, I'm so sorry that this happened. Five seconds left. I get the ball, I pump left, fake right, throw the ball to Ron. He's like 35, 40 yards out. He catches it with one hand, somehow manages to stay on his feet, runs in for a touchdown, game over. It was insane. I'm still high, but. Coming to the game on Friday? I don't know, Tom. I don't really feel like going out. What do you mean? I don't know, it just it isn't so right. Why not? I guess I'm just still shaken up about things with Arnie. Really? Arnie again? Yes, Arnie again. Tom? You need to forget about him. I'm not just going to forget about someone I have known my entire life. I don't care if you've known him your entire life. He's a... French fries? Grilled cheese? Enjoy. Thanks. I don't care if you've known him your entire life. Think about it. It's been three weeks. Nobody's come looking for him. No one's gonna, gonna come back on us. No one is gonna find him. He's gone. From the most recent activities of the Syrian government. Tonight's top story, a series of mysterious murders have been reported in and around the tri-state area. Victims were reportedly ripped apart and left with the word powerless carved somewhere on their body. Officials are enacting a curfew effective tonight. No citizen is to be out past 8 p.m. and everyone is advised to minimize the time spent alone by themselves. That's that Arnie. No. That's Arnie. No. It's not him. You heard what the radio said. I don't care what the radio said. He's gone. Why don't we head back to my place and we can get our minds off things? Watch a movie. It'll be fun. Would you like that? Yeah, it's just some old movie that my mom used to love. We used to watch movies all the time. 
now she's constantly just going around the country with dad. And every once in a while when they're all home, we just kind of sit around and eat popcorn and just be together. It was perfect. Rebecca? So I was thinking. Oh jeez, you've been thinking. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering if maybe you wanted to make this whole thing official. And you'd be my girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Alright, I'd love that. Who's that? It's probably just some idiot kid. Thank <laughs> you. 